In the last video, we learned what a render engine actually does. But here's something even crazier. Why can one frame take 5 hours to render while other takes just 1 second? Let's break down the real difference. It is online versus offline rendering. The graphics world runs on two main methods, online and offline rendering. One is built for speed, the other for perfection. Online rendering or real-time rendering powers games, VR and simulations. To run smoothly at 60 frames per second, your system has to draw each frame in about 16.6 milliseconds, processing lighting, shadows, and effects on the fly as you play. To stay that fast, it relies on clever tricks like baked lighting, shadow maps, LODs, and optimized shaders, keeping the action smooth and reactive, even if it's not physically perfect. On the other hand, offline rendering takes the opposite approach. It is used in films and animation, and it's all about precision. Every light ray, reflection, and surface interaction is calculated in full physical detail, sometimes taking hours or even days to render a single frame. That's how studios like Pixar and DreamWorks craft the photoreal cinematic worlds we see on the screen. But that gap is closing really fast. With real-time ray tracing, lumen, path tracing modes and AI denoising, modern engines like Unreal Engine 5 and Unity are blending both worlds. We are approaching a point where games can render film quality frames live. So maybe it's no longer about online versus offline, but about how both are evolving into a single unified rendering future.